Ooh, hello everybody. Just doing a bit of washing up. Um, but now you're here, we better crack on with some farming. So, the dishes can wait. Uh, you're probably thinking, hang on, it's Thursday. Shouldn't that be something else? Well, Carmen's Farm finished. I finished the series last week. Um, but no, you're right, it shouldn't be Thursday. Uh, although it might be Thursday. I'm going to be starting a brand new series with Chainsaw 100, a multiplayer series. And that's either going to be on a Thursday or a Friday. Obviously, if we have it on a Friday, it breaks up the three episodes of this. If this is Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Or, yeah, we could just have it on. We could just have this on Friday and then have three days of Survivor Challenge. Let me know what you think would work best. But, yeah, we're here this week on a Thursday because I haven't quite finished setting up the multiplayer. So, yes, this week the multiplayer series with Chainsaw will be on a Friday. So, we've got a tanker here full of water. Well, it was full of water. It's now empty. <laughs> uh, we're going to take it over to the store. The reason why is because we have the brand new tanker just over there, and obviously we don't need to keep two. So let's get it taken over there. I'm saving up for cows. It would be really good to get some cows today, but it's going to come down to how much money we have available to spend on the enclosure. And the cows themselves are not really a huge concern, neither is the equipment required to feed them. The reason why is because we're going to be buying them young, which will be cheap, very low cost, and yes, we don't actually need to do total mixed ration. If, oh, where are we going? We're going over here. Whoopsie. Wow, that's quite a skill. Um, <laughs> yes, my front loader shouldn't be quite so high. Um, no, the um, the cows will just be fed something basic, not total mixed ration, so we don't need a feed mixer. We'll only give them total mixed ration when we start to produce milk. So, £1,454. There we go. It's a little bit of money back. So first things first, I'm going to check the price of the base game sheds, or the enclosures. Cows. 75,000. Okay. Interesting. For a few wooden posts and some wire. Oh, and a few troughs, of course. Yeah, we've got a few troughs. So yeah, it's quite expensive. I'm now going to take a look at the ones which I found on ModHub. We have, in our price range... The Simple Cow Barn, which actually, despite it being called Simple, to me looks to be very good. They even get shelter. But it is £25,000. We don't quite have £25,000. We have four pallets of tomatoes to sell, so we could do that. Uh, it wouldn't leave us with much, though. We also have the Open Cow Pasture mod, which is pretty big, I think, actually. Yeah, you can just about make out the... Uh, I'm just going to change the angle here can make out the post and rail. It's big. It's very big. In fact, the biggest issue we'd have with that is our own land. Do we have the space? I don't think we do. Well, we do, but we'd have to take up some of our existing grassland, which maybe isn't a huge problem, because we can always expand in the future. And, yeah, there's the outdoor pastures mod. Just here, it's 25,000. Now, one of these does not produce manure. And I think it's this one, £9,500. So, yeah, that is obviously a limiting factor, but then it is much cheaper. Yes, I've just checked. It's the £9,500 one, which does not produce manure or slurry. Uh, it is kind of an issue for us, because we do need to have the manure and slurry for the replacement greenhouse, which takes manure as fertilizer so yeah it's kind of problematic because that is a really good mod obviously it's very affordable as well and it's a huge enclosure but it doesn't produce the manure for us which we do need so i can see ourselves spending twenty five thousand pounds today and two of them cost twenty five thousand pounds so which one do we go for we do of course still need the money for the animals so if we spend twenty five thousand uh we're not going to be left with a great deal Although, the crop over there, the soybeans, are ready very soon. And, you know, this area here which I just drilled, I think that is actually the best place for cows. So, because uh, I was going to do that area there, but I'm not too sure if it's going to fit anymore, because they're pretty big enclosures. If it does fit, great, but, um, yes, it's not looking like they are going to fit. I reckon it might be a good idea to sleep. 
I'm going to sell... Should I sell them? I don't know if I should sell these tomatoes. The price is decreasing. Ah, um, no, I'm not going to. Unless, of course, the price for soybeans is bad. Oh, it's rising. June is the best time, and it's going to be June when we harvest. Hooray! Celebrate. This, this is unusual. Very unusual, actually, for the price to be at its best when I harvest. So, no, uh, forget the tomatoes for now. Um, we will rest, and then in the morning we shall get the combine going. And hopefully we can construct the enclosure later on. This is all, of course, assuming that the crop is going to be ready, but I think it is. I hope it is. It looks very advanced. Okay, come on, wake up. Good. There we go. Please be ripe. It is, hooray! Good. So we can harvest this, and yeah, we can use the money. What's actually happened to the price of soybeans? 3,821, and the price is still increasing. Wow, that is a good price. Look at this. 3,692 is what it commonly peaks at. This is very good, and the grass has grown just here. So I suppose, just to give us an idea, it would be good just to grab each of these and see the amount of area it takes up. Okay, that's actually not too bad. It would fit in there. Because I'd raise the ground up a bit. As for this one, it looks to be a fairly similar footprint. Yes, it is. It's, although, yes, <laughs> without raising the ground up, the shed is floating. So, yeah, that needs to have some fairly significant landscaping done. But it looks like it can indeed fit here. That's good. That's very good. Anyway, the combine. It's going to be slow, but we don't need to harvest it all right now. Where's my combine? There it is. Lurking. At least we don't have to do any bailing. It means we can really focus on working on the grass and the, the cows. Okay. Get it unfolded if there's anything to unfold. I think it might be pre unfolded. <laughs> yeah, it's all ready. It's always ready. We are off. Yes, I don't know how long it's going to be before we get a new combine, but I would probably expect it to be quite some time. Because it's not exactly rolling in it, and it's going to be. All of this is going to be spent on cows and the cow enclosure. And we are saving up for the £180,000 new plot. Oh, I must thank everybody for your fantastic input on the previous episode. Um, yes, when I was mentioning the two different plots that we might go for, 36 and 48, many people pointed out that the soil quality is likely much better in 36. So if we can head down there, that would be good. You can see this is the yield map which is currently open and you can see it's much better further south um, but I should have what am I looking at here yes we've got the sandy loam further down which seems to produce a high yield the sandy loam probably does continue right down here so uh, yes I think you're right I think we should go for the plot further down instead of this plot over here okay too busy focusing on the field surrounding me instead of the field we're in. So that's filled it up 44%. At least we can always unload it at the far end. Because it fills the combine slower. We don't have to keep unloading in the middle. It would however be nice to have a cab because yeah it's pretty dusty and to wear a respirator all the time. As you can tell because I'm can't really hear what I'm saying. Yeah good job I don't roleplay that otherwise you really wouldn't hear what I'm saying role-playing wearing a respirator or some kind of dust mask uh, right 90% that's good let's just put the auger out just get it aligned again should be fine actually might as well just get 100% okay 
good. Okay, so yes, we can certainly use this tractor for the trailer. There is the trailer. We don't really need the front loader on, so I'll probably take that off. I'll put it over here near Virtual Dangwin. Not heard much from Virtual Dangwin recently. He must be busy with his driving lessons. Now, you probably remember, I vaguely remember, leaving a full tray load of barley here. To be honest, I forgot. Um, yeah, so the price for barley, annoyingly, is not very good. But then again, it is 935 and it only peaks at like 1100, so I forget the exact reason for keeping this. It must have been set when the price was really good, but I never did. Which is why I never want to do that, because I always forget, because there's always so much stuff going on. We're just always too busy. Um, there's too much to keep track of. So, yeah, somebody was probably telling me, no doubt there was a comment in every episode, saying, Oh, you've got that barley, sell it. But no, I didn't actually see that comment, if there was one. I try and look at them, but there are so many. I, I appreciate them, but there are so many. Um, and obviously I've got other stuff in real life to do. I can't see every single one. There was a time when I could, because I used to only get like 20 comments, but no, now it's it's in the hundreds, and yeah, I try and read most of them, but it's not possible. Not only that, but I do have two channels, and I try and respond to the other comments on there as well. Now, we might have been keeping some of this barley for chickens. If so, then we should get the chickens right now, because then I can put some to one side. Um, but I, I don't know, I think we should probably prioritise the cows, which is something I don't usually do. It is usually chickens first. But let's just take a look. I know they're not expensive. I know they're cheap. 6,000 uh, plus the chickens, if we can get 30 into there. This is actually the pasture which I had on Obelu to begin with, and it didn't really generate much money for us. It was okay, but yeah, nothing like this one. So I think... I am just going to go straight in with the cows, and then if we do get chickens we'll go for the big enclosure, or maybe the super big one which is on Mod Hub. Let's just sell these for now. We can draw some more barley, in fact we already have some barley growing, or is it wheat? We've certainly got grain in the ground, so this is a nice boost. Yep, very good. 8,000. Lovely. Now we can unload the Combine Harvester. We will probably do half and then we'll build the cow enclosure. It would be good to get the cows. Well, the sooner the better, really, because yeah, we're going to be buying them cheap, because we're going to get them young. And every day that passes, or every month that passes, they're obviously going to get older and they'll be closer to being able to produce milk for us and breed. So, there we go. Brilliant. Very good. It's going to be a slow start, but we'll get there. I'm going to put it onto a time-lapse, I think. Probably done about half. I'm just going to keep going until the trailer's full. 
it can't be too far off. This might even fill it. I'm just hoping we can make it back to the trailer. We're 75% full. And it's getting close. No, it should be alright. Should be very good timing. And then we can take this full load over to the store. Make a decent amount of money. And then, well, it'll still be June in the next episode, so the price will still be really good. We can complete the rest of it. And, yeah, we'll do the counters for the rest of this episode. Come on, keep going. But, yeah, it's going to be a case of cultivating and then drilling again later on. Now, I wonder if this is going to fill it. It looks like it might do. If not, it'll be very close. a bit more into the back, I think. Uh, no, I don't think it will fill it, actually. But it is going to be super close. 88%, so I'll go up and down again once more, and that should pretty much fill it. If it isn't full, then it will certainly be close enough. So, yeah, because what's left is not going to fill a trailer again. This will be the bigger of the two loads. Click up and down, and we're back. Another 75%. So, oh no, we need the engine on to unload. Get back into here. Yep, 100%. 8,000 litres. So let's take it to the store, and it's going to generate enough money for us to be able to do the cows, and also to be able to buy the cows. Although, yes, we're going to have to pay for the uh, shipping, pay for postage on those cows because we can't really afford to get a livestock trailer. So we'll just have them delivered but it's fine because we're going to be getting them, as I said, we're going to be getting them young so we're going to be saving so much money over buying a mature cow. The same sell point as the barley. Now the price is uh, potentially going to go up a little bit more but we do need to get this load sold and then we can maybe get a, higher, a slightly higher price for the next trailer. But it's already so good. 3,890. Look at our money rocket. That's great. So we'll, we'll get this taken back to the farm and then I'm going to do the landscaping. I don't think I need to take any trees down, but if I do, it would just be a few. Wow, look at that. Almost £34,000. Fantastic. And actually landscaping looks better when done as a time-lapse and I work more efficiently during a time-lapse so uh, we'll get over there and see how much work it actually needs. The manure storage point is £25,000 for the uh, silo extension which is within reach. Um, I'm not too sure if we're automatically going to have a slurry store, I, I doubt it but we'll have to look into these things. So, yes, actually, it could encroach into the uh, arable field ever so slightly if necessary. This tree here actually probably is in the way. But only that tree, hopefully. I'll just move it over here. Yes, it really does slope away. I'm just going to save the game first of all, because if I mess up, like, really badly then I can uh, revert it back, because there's no undo button. You can't undo what you've done. But we want to continue at this level here, so we want to be on level, large at all, and I think probably a square. You don't realise how much it slopes away until you do this. It is significant. Now I know it looks pretty artificial, but that's fine because I'm going to soften it. Smaller tool, round tool, more intense tool. There we go. Get those rounded edges. And actually, I could put a cliff 
texture onto there just so it doesn't look really weird. Like I did around the greenhouse. Okay, what have I done? I've done something here. Now, obviously everywhere, everywhere I'm doing this I'm going to have to replow, so I need to be more careful than that. Ah, that's not good. I think... Let's see. This is exactly what I'm talking about in messing up. That should be okay. But yeah, some repair work might have to happen. But we do need quite a bit of space because we need to put the manure storage point in and probably some other placeables or maybe even other productions. But yeah, we've got the plan. We can uh, tidy things up a bit. So how does that look? That looks okay. Yeah, that does look okay. If I just get that painting tool... If we get some rock... I don't know, it might look a bit weird. Can't really see. Um, yeah, that's okay. Just so it's not so much of a weird drop. Because it, with it being grass, that looks kind of odd. But if it is a cliff face, it's a bit more natural. Okay. Well, I think that will be alright. Probably could have put a bit there as well. Um, and yeah, I did say we're going to time lapse this. But I get a bit carried away. That's granite. Okay, that's a bit more convincing. Good. So, yeah, we've got a nice level surface. Probably have to deal with this area here as well in the future. But for now, let's just see if we can build our enclosure. Oh yeah, which one? This one? Or this one? I personally... Ah, oh, that one can only do 25. This one can do 40. I'll go with this one. I think that'll be for the best. So, I really hope I don't mess up here. I am hoping that just there is going to look okay. Right. I think... That has placed okay. A little bit of attention needs to be made to this area. This is where our time lapse. Okay, so really preparing for the future here. We've got a track in. I think the manure storage point, if we're going to have one, so to figure out exactly how to do this, uh, can go into here. So there is space for that. That's very nice. Um, the, the messy jaggedy edge is like here and over here. Just plow it up and redo it. It's fine. No problem at all. But I think overall that is looking pretty good. Let's just fly up into the air. Yeah, it looks fairly natural, and I do prefer it there than if it was over here. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's good-ish. 
let me know what you think. So, of course, we need to actually get some animals. So, we're going to go with, I think, once we're one which really goes for a lot of uh, milk. Let's just see here. Now, of course, yeah, the Angus, that is for breeding. Good meat. So, we'll go with the Holstein. Maybe I, do I always? Maybe I always do. I do like them. So how many shall we go with? It would only be £10,000 to fill it. So, well obviously breeding and all that stuff, there'll be no space left. I don't know, maybe we should go with 30? 35? Hmm, yes. Animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. These are zero. Zero months. It would take some time. I think I'm just going to buy 35. There we go. So there is some space. Actually, that is plenty full enough. Uh, now, there is the water as well. We've got the water tanker. Uh, that's the milk, obviously. And we've got the food. The food which I give them is just going to be basic. As I said, we're not going to be spending a fortune giving them total mixed ration. We'll just give them hay for now. Sorry, cows. But they'll be fine. So what I need to do is get the water tanker and I need to get the hay bales. So let's just grab the rear weight and the front loader. Both of which are waiting for me just over here. Okay. And the front loader is just here. Don't know how many bells, probably two. But we can we can just give them grass. 40% effectiveness. Um, but I forget, I forget when they start producing milk. How old? But this does give us some time to be able to afford the, the mixer. I have to check, it looks like they're plumbed in for water. Oh, they are plumbed in for water. Nice. Very nice. Is that out of... Uh... There we go. Brilliant. So yeah, we don't have to use the tanker at all. That's just going to be for the greenhouse. I'm thinking that looks full. <laughs> and yes, it is full. Um, so, one more bale. And that'll actually be the cows done. Nothing else to do. They can just happily graze the grass and grow up and uh, become productive. I think I know exactly what we're going to be doing with the rest of the grassland. Yeah, producing grass and hay bales. Well, probably just hay bales. Might as well. It's not quite ready. This lower piece is. Oh, we've got the cereal crop over there. Uh, Doggerwin is over there, in fact, in the field. Roaming. But no, we'll cut the grass uh, in July. See how much of that they take. Probably not all of it. No. But they've taken a decent amount, so we can leave it there. We have a small shelter. You happy things. Well, I think this is significant progress. Being able to afford cows. It's great. But yeah, the manure, that is something. Um, unless you can't produce manure, I really don't know. I know it made a point of saying you can't make manure with the other enclosure, but can you with this one? I don't know. Maybe you can't, because there's no shed. Because like, you'd muck out the sheds and then put it into the storage point, storage pit. Uh, so, we shall see. We can always upgrade it in the future. Anyway, I think that is going to conclude this episode. Um, please do let me know what you think to everything. And until next time, Saturday, which will be the next episode of Survivor Challenge, hopefully multiplayer tomorrow. See you again soon. Bye for now.